Yeah, coach, just, just how much progress or in a challenge is it to replace just how much production you got from Drew Wiley and that no longer being a part of your position group? Uh, that remains to be seen. Um, you know, uh, a young man like Eli Huggins has done a great job in the past, played a bunch last year, coming back. Uh, he's certainly counted on for uh, to pick up some of that production. Hard to replace Drew Wiley, to be honest with you. Uh, but getting someone in here like um, Tim Horn has been uh, a blessing in so many ways. Uh, he's just kind of uh, di uh, dived right in uh, with uh, the way we do things and uh, really has had quite a spring to go along with someone like uh, Jay, uh, Jalen Pickle, who's played a lot. But, uh, you know, and then you have Robert Hentz that is coming back uh, uh, with those guys, you know, and uh, yeah, it's hard to replace Drew Wiley, but those guys are going to have to step up to to be able to do that. Yeah, someone you mentioned is Robert Hentz. We saw him a little bit last year, of course, but mm -hmm. it was probably a tricky year with COVID and everything to yeah. kind of ha have your first season yeah. at Kansas State. Do you expect maybe him to emerge even more now that that's kind of will be behind us sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah. He, he kind of doesn't have a choice really. You know, he need, he absolutely needs to step up. He's done a nice job of really mastering the scheme a little bit more, but even more so than that too, is that his play has been elevated. Uh, he's, he's doing some really good things for us. Has had a nice spring. Um, and we're, we're certainly counting on him moving forward to be a part of the conversation. What do you think uh, uh, was some of the main reasons why you guys were able to attract someone like Timmy Horn in the transfer portal? Because it didn't take him long to, to pick the Wildcats. Yeah, well, the transfer portal, as you know, is very tricky. You know, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, Forrest Gump a little bit. You don't know what you're going to get, you know, and uh, – to get someone of this caliber uh, from a, a group of five school is really, really uh, amazing. And uh, not only is he a prince of a, 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 of a guy, he's, he, he's just a, a, a really, really good player. And, uh, and, and no, it, it, it was, you know, what we, we saw on tape, you know, and uh, what we saw on tape was a dynamic player and, uh, for him to adapt it to how we do things, the way we do things, has really been really, really cool to see. And uh, not only that, but uh, he, he, he's so, uh, you know, uh, our players have kind of, uh, you know, gravitated to him. You know, he's, he has that kind of personality and he's, uh, you know, he's certainly a leader by his play and he's made a lot of, uh, of nice plays to where our guys have a lot of respect for him. And finally, what, what's, uh, I guess, one or two things that instantly come to your mind from what you've seen from your position group this spring that have you excited about what's to come this upcoming season? Well, what's exciting is that, you know, you have a, you know, a guy like, uh, to begin with, Eli Huggins, who is, in my opinion, has taken his game to another level. And uh, uh, you asked about Drew Wiley, you know, Drew Wiley was in the same similar situation a year ago now because he had been in a backup role uh, in 2019. And for him to step up his game, in my opinion, Eli Huggins has done that uh, heading into the, uh, the last couple of practices here. Certainly Jalen Pickle has done the same thing. Uh, you know, he's a guy that... Uh, you know, we are counting on to be in the conversation, in the mix. You know, his playmaking has really uh, taken another level. And then you got Robert Hance. We talked about Timothy Horn. We're talking about Tyrone Talani, who's had a really, really good spring. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. That's Coach, um, yes, sir. for defensive tackles, does it take a little while to marry uh, the kind of physical strength you got to have for that spot and the technique and all that? I mean, we're seeing some guys that develop right on the cusp of the edge of their career. Is it mm -hmm. just kind of a normal process? 
Yeah, well, it's hard to do the technique if you're not strong. Uh, and, and so, uh, you know, you got to have, you know, strength all the way around. You know, your legs, your arms, your ability to to, to be able to lock people out. Uh, you know, but in terms of their development, you know, it's hard to develop. Oh, you know, I mean, you can have a young man who's maybe not there yet physically struggle with the technique because he just doesn't have the strength to be able to uh, to execute the, the 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 fundamentals. But you know, without question, you have to be you have to have the strength to be able to execute the the fundamentals. And uh, and 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 I, I just think we're at a good place with the D tackles. You know, those guys are really working very hard. Uh, you know, with Coach True coming in here in the last uh, month or so, uh, it, it's, you know, our guys are really, really doing a nice job in the weight room. But, yeah, I would say that it's hard, very hard for anybody, whether it's here or anywhere else or any of the other places I've had the, the, the uh, I've, I've coached for a young man to truly play the way he wants to without the strength development. And uh, you know this better than anyone, but D tackles really difficult to recruit for a couple of reasons. Everyone needs them. Uh, yeah. And it is hard to identify where those kids will end up physically. How challenging has it been to kind of reload your position? It's always challenging. It's, it's a challenging year in. It, it, and it's not just here, it's been certainly in other places. Because at the end of the day, defensive tackles are a special breed. They're not, you know, they have to have the, the mental makeup, certainly, but they have to be explosive players that are big athletes. And those are, there's a high demand and, uh, and, and uh, uh, you know, and, and, and the uh, high demand for them and the availability is not very, so you, in, 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 in many ways, you have to kind of look into the crystal ball, if you will, to kind of see if those skills and those abilities are there because you can't just, you have to have a, an explosive twitchy athlete because it, it, if not, it, it, those, those things are hard to develop. You know, those are things that they have to come with. And then you can, you can look down the road and say, hey, you know, this young man, we can develop him in the weight room. But there are certainly some things explosive, whether it's hands, your feet, uh, you know, an explosive body, you know, uh, other things that come to mind is, you know, you got to have face courage. You got to play with your face. And, 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 and that's easy to say, but not everybody can do. And so the supply is very low and the demand is very high. And, uh, and I always say that, you know, you know, the tackles are absolutely a special breed. They're a different breed, different breed altogether. <laughs> when you recruit, do you find yourself maybe looking towards other sports, you know, wrestling certainly comes to mind because of the sure. uh, ability to use your hands, but track the throwers, their ability to explode. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself looking for those? Yeah. Things? I, you know, I, I love uh, wrestlers. Of course, a lot of wrestlers who did football too. You try to find those explosive movements. For instance, like you take basketball, for instance, a young man that can explode vertically. Well, that tells me he's explosive. You know, uh, you, you, you mentioned uh, track athletes, people that can go from low to out, that can explode out or explode up. Those are the kinds of guys you look for because, you know, if they can generate power from the ground, those are, those are the things you look for. Wrestlers, you know, they're, you know, they're a lot like, you know, they're very similar to D tackles. You know, they're just a different breed. You got to be able to, to enjoy mixing things up with with people and uh and and wrestlers have that 